Hey, hi. Uh, very good afternoon. This is Amit here, all the way from Hebeu Farms. Uh, today at Hebeu Genetics, we have produced at least somewhere about uh, 45 to 50 offsprings through IVF process. Let me introduce a few of the offsprings that are uh, generated through our IVF process. The first uh, offspring that is here, uh, she is the daughter of a bull by name Gorino, and uh, she is also a daughter of my beautiful cow by name Bagishri. And uh, this is the first offspring of uh, uh, Gorino, which was born in my farm. These two uh, uh, female offsprings, uh, they are the daughters of uh, my beautiful cow by name Rucha and their father name is uh, Gorino. These two male calves, uh, their father name is Gorino again and their mother name is Rucha. Uh, this uh, beautiful uh, offspring, uh, she is the daughter of a bull by name Pankalyo and uh, mother name is Geeta. And uh, this beautiful offspring, uh, her name is, uh, I mean her fa father name is Geetano. Mother name is Sudha. Sudha is a beautiful cow in my farm. She was able to give almost like uh, 18 liters to 20 liters of milk uh, every day. And uh, father name is uh, Geetano. And it's a male calf. Uh, father name is uh, Sakina. Mother name is uh, Lakshmi. Lakshmi is origin of my farm. Uh, Lakshmi is the cow which I had bought from uh, Dudraj. Uh, Sila bloodline. Uh, father name is Pankalyo. Mother name is Vaishali. Vaishali is a beautiful cow from Badwa Darbar. So, these two offspring, they are the son and daughter of a bull by name Kasudi, mixed with uh, one of the beautiful cow by name Bagi. Bagi is the daughter of uh, my beautiful cow by name Bageshri. So, I have one uh, male calf, the other one is the female calf with uh, Kasudi. This beautiful calf, she is the daughter of a bull by name uh, Dadamyo. Mother name is uh, Nidhi from Badwa Darbar. Uh, and we also have uh, the same combination of uh, uh, offspring which is uh, recently born uh, which is there in the lactation uh, frame. This beautiful offspring, uh, she is the daughter of a bull by name Sudha, Sudhano and mother name is Sudha. Sudha comes from uh, Dudrej, uh, Sudha was the high milker in my farm. That's the reason I had chosen Sudha and uh, she is the daughter of a beautiful bull, exceptional bull by name Sudhano. I'm expecting a very high milking yield from this uh, calf. Let's see in the future. Beautiful calf, uh, born in my farm. Uh, she is the daughter of a bull uh, by name Saran. Mother name is uh, Karni Wood. Karni is the uh, cow which I've got from Badwa Darbar. She carries more of her mother's uh, genes, according to me. And uh, Pratap Bapu, uh, we decided that she carries her mother's genes a lot. But somewhere on the face, I could look at her as Sarang's daughter. I have a, a beautiful cow uh, who is the daughter of a bull by name Gondalyo. Uh, that uh, cow is the mother of these two offspring. Father name is uh, Pankalyo. I mean, uh, both are male calves. And uh, he's actually, I mean, I liked him a lot. I mean, let's see how does he perform or later. I mean, according to his growth, let's see how he performs. This two. Uh, they are the sons of a bull by name Marcelo. Uh, mother name is Jaya. Jaya is uh, uh, the daughter of a bull by name Rudra from Badwa Darbar. Uh, I was expecting at least one female. Both are uh, males from uh, uh, Marcelo, which I've got. Bapu used to tell that as a dolphin face. I've got dolphin face uh, offsprings from Marcelo. So, uh, he, uh, he was the first uh, offspring which was born in the process of IVF in my farm. Uh, he's the son of a bull by name Kankaino and uh, mother name is Bagi. Bagi was the cow which was resourced uh, from Badwa village. So, uh, on the testing, we tried to work out on Kankaino and uh, he seems to be exceptional. I mean, uh, he is trying to be better over the period of time. Uh, I also wanted to do an experiment uh, on a uh, bull by name Gorino with an outside cow. I had a beautiful cow by name uh, uh, Revati and uh, that Revati was a very high milking cow in my farm. So I tried to uh, extract an uh, offspring from it and this is an example. So I decided that I should not uh, use any more Revati in my farm. So. Uh, the result of Gorino with uh, Badwa line and the result of Gorino with outside cows are entirely different. So, is an example for that. 
So he is an offspring of Gorino. He still carries 50% of Gorino's blood in him and 50% uh, of uh, Revati's blood in him. He could be a uh, father of good milking animals. Uh, yes, let's see how he grows over the period of time. So here in this cage, I have two offsprings of Lilidino. One is the male calf, the, this one is the female calf. She's just born about uh, two days back. I am in. Uh, I have a beautiful cow by name Gori. She's an eye milker in my farm. That's the reason I had used Gori zoocytes on uh, Lilidino. Uh, so the results also are very good. That's a, the, the male calf is good for me, but uh, the female is very very exceptional, and she's. I have to see how we how she performs over the period of time. So these two uh, offsprings, they are the. Uh, son and daughter of a beautiful bull by name Sakina. Sakina is Bapu's favorite bull, my favorite bull and uh, many people's favorite bull. And uh, we have two offsprings. One is uh, male, the other one is female. And the uh, mother of both offsprings are Nidhi. I mean, uh, the male stands out in my farm. He is very, very exceptional uh, in terms of his beauty, in terms of his uh, breed characteristics, everything. And the female also stands uh, still and uh, good and better, like his fa like her father. So he is Krishna. Krishna is waiting for his mother. Uh, he is born uh, through a process of IVF and uh, his mother name is uh, uh, Nidhi, father name is uh, Kasudi. Kasudi is a very exceptional bull uh, which was uh, there during 1970s. So I got this uh, bull semen from uh, Pradeep Bapu and later with uh, his grandson Arjun. So we have about uh, six uh, ampules of Kasudi in our farm. We had used only like uh, 25% of a single ampule and we were able to get almost like uh, uh, 15 offsprings in our farm and uh, still few are to be born, few are born as well. Again, uh, these two male calves, they are also from the same lineage. Mother name is uh, Nidhi, father name is Kasudi. I mean, uh, out of this three, he is very exceptional for me. According to me, his skin is very different from his other two brothers. Uh, somewhere they would have gone on their mother, he has gone on his father. And they are a bit younger than him. I mean, uh, but still the milking confirmation, the milk confirmation on the offsprings uh, is very good. Let's see how they outperform later. I mean, I want to see them uh, grow good and better. Over the period of time, you can uh, decide the whom to use and whom not to use. So, this is the beauty of IVF. Uh, see, in IVF, we are able to get uh, Lakshmi's offsprings, four Lakshmi's of offsprings together, and they're all being sired by uh, a beautiful bull by name uh, Kasudi. I mean, uh, she's the daughter of Kasudi. She's the daughter of Kasudi, and uh, he's the son of Kasudi with Lakshmi. Again, this two. The other two male calves who are standing here, they are also the sons of a bull by name Kasudi with uh, Lakshmi. Here we have almost like 35 to 40 offsprings of uh, uh, gear which has been, uh, 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 which where we have got them through a process of IVF uh, through an uh, uh, surrogacy mothers and this surrogacy mothers are HF. So HF uh, mothers milk is not good for the gear of uh, offspring. I mean, uh, uh, feeding the HF belt to the skier offsprings, uh, they are uh, uh, getting this bloating issues, they are uh, going on dysenteries and things like that. So that's the reason why we are trying to give them the gear milk and we have separated them from their mothers. So they will not be able to suck on the HF milk. And uh, uh, yes, if you see, I mean, this is the way that uh, we decided to keep our, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, embryo kits. See, uh, the mortality rates for uh, embryo kids are very high. I mean, only few out of uh, 10 uh, offsprings which are taken birth through IVF, only about 5 to 6 are surviving outside. We have ensured that uh, out of 10, all the 10 are surviving in the farm. The basic uh, change that we did is like uh, the platform that they sleep should be very good. So they should never have a uh, feel of uh, 
their uh, gomutra and uh, cow dung as soon as they go uh, do a gomutra it has to be falling down that's the reason why we have used this uh, uh, goat uh, uh, i mean these are the sheets where people use it to keep the goats and uh, we have used the same plastic sheets so as soon as they go with the uh, cow dung and gomutra that falls down and we have kept a separate uh, place for them to heat the fodder place and as well as the water so few offsprings which uh, they are very good at uh, Uh, finding their water themselves for them we have done separate uh, water it and few of them uh, where they cannot find the water sub, uh, by themselves we have separated them through plastic buckets where uh, the water is always changed uh, twice a day i mean uh, they keep uh, uh, making the water dirty or else we can also see any insects or anything falling into water so we don't want our, our offspring to drink such kind of an water that's the reason why we keep changing it and this uh, fodder that we give them uh, on uh, i mean uh, two times a day we are trying to give them the fodder and two times a day we are mixing it with the protein this protein is nothing but tuwada powder or else a corn powder and uh, along with them uh, we are also giving uh, Uh, I mean green fodder. This green fodder could be a uh, silage. I mean uh, could be a corn grass or else uh, could be a green grass uh, in the form of super napier, uh, something like this. So this is the basic changes that we did, which made us very successful in having uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, the mortality rate to go down in the farm, and we are able to ensure all the offspring are growing good and better. So that's the beauty of uh, having uh, the infrastructure for a uh, dairy industry. So many people would be asking me, Amit, uh, what is the need of infrastructure in the farm? I mean, uh, it's just a one shed can fetch you decent. Uh, I mean, uh, we can get beautiful uh, dairy with uh, just a, a small shed and things like that. See, yes, uh, a small shed you can rear about uh, four animals, five animals, not about uh, thousands of animals. See, I've got more than thousand cows. and i want everything to be done in a very systematic way where uh, i mean uh, uh, i want to understand what uh, cow which is there in uh, one month pregnancy from a cow which is there in two months pregnancy from a cow which is there in eight month and nine month so for everything there is a different diet which i want to give for everything there is a separate uh, care which we want to give so that's the reason uh, this kind of an infrastructure is what we are trying to create where we are separating them and uh, due to the separation we are able to understand their uh, performance in terms of their growth in terms of their uh, uh, health immunity everything and then we can easily focus on how to make them good and better uh, so that's about it and uh, yes thanks for uh, watching us for more videos for more information about abu genetics to know more offsprings see uh, today i have shown you guys about uh, uh, the calves that we have got their pedigree i mean uh, their sire and dam and uh, over the period of time i'll also tell why i've used them i mean what made me to use kasudi on nidhi what made me to use uh, uh, gorino on rucha i mean why did i use more gorino on rucha so like this uh, i would come out with a uh, lot many videos with so many information i hope uh, pe you people liked it and keep supporting us let's grow together